Hey everybody, today we're doing something a little bit different beyond the whole jewelry unboxings and everything. I decided to head over to one of my local Goodwill stores and we're going to do a thrift with me video. As long as I can do it somewhat sneakily, I don't like getting caught. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and don my mask, which is over here. Let's do this one today. Cute. These ones are from Old Navy. They're from Old Navy. Okay, I'm gonna do a squirt of hand sanitizer. And let's go. Well, we're gonna to have to do a voiceover for this video, unfortunately. The music is very loud in this Goodwill. And yeah, it's just, and I, don't, I can't really talk about what I'm finding without sounding like a lunatic. <laughs> so here I'm looking at some shoes and they're starting to bring out all of the boots Winter is just around the corner here in Michigan, if you can believe it, I don't know. My camera work isn't the best, I apologize for that. I've been out of practice for a little bit. Some Ralph Lauren booties, those are cute. I'm taking a peek at a couple of the ones that look cute. And I decided to go to just move on because, oh wait, let's look at this one. <laughs> nope. Okay, let's move on. Now, people ditching their stuff in random spots. There's some new merchandise. Here are the formal dresses. I'm not really looking for clothes today. I do take a look at the bags, and I take a peek at the rest of the shoes. I don't think I actually got any shoes today. I had a lot. There's some Vince Camuto they have marked up. <laughs> Oh wait, no, that was the bottom of the shoe. Never mind. They weren't very marked up, were they? Oh, but they were missing their strap. Yeah, that must have been an old price tag on the bottom of the shoe. It was only $5 otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, Vince Camuto is a slow mover for me. I still like looking at him because he's got some really classic looking things. I mean, look at this one's really pretty. In pretty good shape and I hadn't seen that pattern in the leather before but yeah the toes were very very scuffed up so I left them profits not projects <laughs> let's see yes yeah, so I'm looking for leather purses so I'm kind of feeling them and feeling if they're soft leather or anything I'm looking at the way they generally feel I like the croc embossed. There's one of those zebra bags that were big like years ago. I liked this one. It looked artisan made or something. It was, it was cool. But I passed on it. Boring, boring, boring. And then pretty soon here there's a woman looking at purses behind me, coming up behind me and like she had an air of impatience around her. Stone and Company. Good quality purses, but they don't they don't really sell much for me. That's a T. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, I did get a purse. I got this one here. This is an Espa. This one is not real leather, but it is in amazing condition, and I was seeing comps online that looked pretty good. I threw it in my bag before I looked in my, sorry, I threw it in my cart before I looked it up. But I did decide to grab that. It was $5. And I find something out, another zebra bag, wow. Nicole Miller. Let's see, this one was beaded and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to do this? Okay, I had a little break in the sound there because the kids needed me. <laughs> Apparently. What am I looking at? I was looking at this one because I really liked the horses on it. I was like, this looks special. Sorry for my camera work again. And I look in here and it's a Laurel Birch. I love her things. I have a couple in my Poshmark store and they're not moving, so I'm thinking of moving them to eBay. And I didn't end up grabbing that purse, yes. 
Oh, I, I was looking at a few tops for me, so here we go through the tank tops and everything. It's because I could use some more blouses and pretty little tops in my wardrobe. And I've completely forgotten what I get in this, what I buy. Did I, I don't know if I bought a tank or not. Maybe I did. Could be the one I'm wearing right now. I got this somewhere. <laughs> I suppose we'll find out. I mean, I got some pretty things, but I look for specific things that I know I like the look of on me. Like, I like a v-neck and collar or no collar if it's sleeveless is fine. I like, there's a J. Crew one that I have. Oh, and I found this Cole Haan leather tote and it was it was a pretty good price and I didn't look up comps until I got home and this one doesn't go for that much but it's cool I'm gonna clean it up and I might just use it myself because it feels really nice and it's nice neutral good for toting things around peeking at the baskets I like baskets looking some more I have some cute things looking up at the art and that one turns out just to be a print you know how they yeah see thumbs down how they print the painting and then put little accents on it that was cute a little duck a little duck basket <laughs> let's look at the wood stuff I like wood stuff too I like shelves and I like little boxes and I couldn't really look in that one handed. It looks homemade. Slash artisan. <laughs> These are cute too. But no. Chugga chugga. Yeah, that doesn't work very well. <laughs> this thing is neat. It's like a puzzle. It's a wood puzzle. It's a soccer ball. You might see um, little glimpses of my friend. He had just gotten off work and he works right across the street from this Goodwill. And we came over and decided to thrift with me a little bit. It's a pretty little box. It even has the key inside. But I did not grab that. Hmm, little shelves. I don't really need any more little wooden shelves. There's one of those, is that a monkey pod thing or, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the sticker, but it's very worn off and I can't really tell what it says. Oh well, put it back. What was that? Oh, wall hanging or something, cool. Hey, salt and pepper grinders. Or pepper grinders or whatever. I did not grab those. I don't know much about them. Anything about them. Or if they sell. Nope. That clock is a big fat no. There's <laughs> a back scratcher. Oh wait, that's not a back scratcher. That's like a pusher. This is the back scratcher. And I did test it. <laughs> it worked. Felt good. But I've got one, so I don't need one. That's a back massager, too. There's this funky little bowl. I don't like that it's not symmetrical. It bothers me. This is one of my quirks, I guess, if something's not symmetrical. I had some neat stuff. I saw these fan blades in this box, and I did look them up. And they were brand new, Casablanca, and they were wood tone. And they can go for like 30-ish, but I didn't feel like dealing with the shipping on something that long. And it gets outside the certain measurements. The post office has a hard time. <laughs> Bazinga. Of course. I'm showing it to my friend. He likes Big Bang Theory. Mm. 
A little pot holder. I didn't notice that, but I don't know what that was. What? That's weird. I don't know what that was. But that green little flower pot holder, I should have looked more at. I like that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, mother knows best. <laughs> Ooh, this was cute. And I looked at it. And I decided to look at I took it in my cart to look it up. Got all the way up to checkout and had forgotten to look it up. And by the time I got to checkout, I didn't I hadn't looked at the price they had on it. I assumed it was maybe $2. And once I got to checkout, I was going to just buy it anyway, but they had $7 on it. I was like, I'm not paying $7 for a little tchotchke, you know? And so I gave that back to the cashier to restock. And I looked her up, and that Deary is Weary figure is on a lot of different things. There's a large shaker, like um, a washing soda shaker, vintage stuff. That one can go for really good money. They also have salt and pepper shakers and a few other things that say Deary is Weary. But that little soap dish slash sponge holder just doesn't, it doesn't have that much value. Donut. <laughs> That's cute. Another Avon thing, that green pitcher. And then they've got the dolls. I used to have a collection of porcelain dolls that my mom would buy for me every year on my birthday. They were on shelves in my bedroom all along the top. It's a cute little fancy bunny. He's wearing a garter. <laughs> Some Noah's Ark things. Those were cute. This elephant was sweet. It's like a big old stone elephant, but his tusks. Poor baby. That's too bad. He was cute. Those were weird. I was like, oh, somebody did something. Framed some charms. And I was looking to see if they were 925 or anything, but yeah. <laughs> Little giraffe. He's sweet. I've been seeing a lot of giraffes this past week or so. Hmm. Was that a sponge dress, maybe? I couldn't figure out what that was. And this was cute. <laughs> I like the colors on it, but no, I didn't get it. I don't know, I don't really pick up figurines or little glass things unless they're really, really cute and I like them personally and look them up and if they have value or anything, but the occasional coffee mug. I think I did find a coffee mug here. We'll see if I got it on camera. But I bought it for my brother-in-law. <laughs> He's a hunter, and it was a mug of hunter's excuses. Like, the deer moved, sun in my eye. It was really funny. Oh, hey, my legs. <laughs> oh, gosh. So much to look at. Yep, yeah, we're already down here. And woo! Wow, sorry. That was sickening, wasn't it? And I did look up this spongeware stuff. And it can do okay. It's, yeah, it's um, cabins in the woods or something. Spongeware. And there's like a whole set there. And I considered it, but ultimately the shipping, I'm not thrilled about the idea of shipping something that big. But I'm looking at stuff. Huh. What was I doing? What was I doing? Okay, here we go. Let's look at something else. Oh, we're at candlesticks. I like that. It's blue onion pattern. And you usually find that on like Corel or um, what else did I have? Like an anchor hawking with blue onion on it. And I decided to grab that to look it up. 
Oh, those were the deer baskets I grabbed. <laughs> Little nesting deer baskets, those are cute. Also not a really high dollar item, but I figure with Christmas coming up, somebody would like those. They're like little reindeer or whatever. Putting that next to the one that looks like it. Like items together. Hmm. Trick or treat stuff. <laughs> What's that? It was like a little bird or something, I don't know, like a, can a votive holder or tea light thing. No. I don't like milk glass. Too much of it everywhere. Ooh, the card of new stuff. Oh, God. My camera work is awful. There's this little cake plate. Made in China, modern. Cute, but no. Mm -hmm. Little case, some curtain rods, some other stuff. Hey, look, it's Dale. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I used to have a Chip and Dale that I got at Disney in 2001. We went over 4th of July in 2001. My parents took us. I mean, I was 21 at the time. Oh, I was almost 21 because my birthday's in the middle of July. But it was so hot. And the crowds, oh my goodness. We had a lot of fun, though. Really good time. Except my toothache I got. I should stop rambling, I'm sorry. Now I'm looking at art. Over it. <laughs> that was so cute. Blue things, I'm a sucker for blue things. This is my favorite color. There's a little microscope down there. I've held off on getting microscopes for my kids because they, I don't know. It's Hershey Kiss fondue set, I guess. Heathens? <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to say. Did I touch that case? I think I did. Mm -mm. Very basic. It wasn't leather or anything. Yeah, someone was probably just playing with that sign. <laughs> I've been seeing a ton of these, like, onion cookers. These little onion crock thingies. A ton of them, like, everywhere. I think I saw three or four at this Goodwill. I saw some at another thrift store later that week. And hmm. And yes, I did see that pan over there with the copper bottom. I think it was Revere Ware, but they had a pretty high price on it. They knew what they had there. Ooh, crockery. <laughs> And pots and pans, and I'm kind of looking because I could use another pot that doesn't weigh like 500 pounds. I've got a hard anodized steel pot. It's huge and it's fantastic and it's got good handles, but it is heavy. Heavy, heavy, and my arthritis is getting a little bit worse. I thought this was cute, and I did look it up. Wasn't worth much. Super adorable, though, my goodness. Countryside collection. Hmm. I liked it. Hey, there's another onion crock. What's in there? Oh, little baby traffic cones. This is like a coppery apple pan hanging thing. <laughs> See? I mean, I think it's an onion cooker. There's an onion on the top. It's like you put it in the oven or the microwave or what? I don't know. Steam holes out the top. That's what I'm thinking it is. Ooh, coconut bra. <laughs> it's like random lamp pieces or something. I don't know. There's a clipboard. Harry Potter Gryffindor 
clipboard. Hmm. It's funny looking through and seeing all the things I was looking at. I like to open boxes, even if I don't like if I don't even intend on grabbing one, I just don't. <laughs> I like to look inside of things. Some cute lamps, some of those hobnail milk glass ones. Nothing exceedingly special. Always a good place to look if you need lamps, though. A lot of shades. That is a honkin' vintage-y, like, early 2000s. Like, all the houses built in the early 2000s had those fixtures, or was it the late 90s? I don't know. I'm theorizing. I liked that. That little golf fountain back there it was really cute and in really good shape. Hmm. You only want three dollars for it. And I looked it up and it goes, I don't remember what it goes for, but it's not much. It is cute. Oh well. Well, I had a good time thrifting there at the Goodwill. I was there for, oh god, almost two hours. Oof. I feel like I didn't buy enough to warrant being there for two hours. Oh well. I did find some very interesting things. I do need to research some of the items that I bought. I just bought some things just because they looked good. A couple things I looked up in store. One thing I put back because I hadn't looked at the price before I bought it and it turned out to be seven dollars and I wasn't paying seven bucks for that. Yeah, so anyway, now I'm on my way to the grocery store and I'm being very careful filming this with this in my car. I'm barely even looking at you. But yeah, I've got to get to the grocery store for groceries for the week and then I think I'll go ahead and film a haul for you back at the house in my filthy office. So we will see you in a bit. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and do the haul from the back of my van because my office is a pigsty and yeah, I can't, I just can't even. Um, first thing I got for $7 was this metal clothing rack right here, which will be helpful for my garage sale I'm going to have. And came with these trays that'll go here on the bottom. This I got several days ago. Um, I went to a yard sale, a big old like picking sale, and I had to dig for lots of stuff. This is ooh, this is funny because um, we call the kid's grandma Mimi, so we're gonna give that to her. I got this nice little doily with the black-eyed Susans. This is a oh, Roseville spongeware two quart dish <laughs> it doesn't have a lid but it was so cheap and i also got a bag full of different <laughs> i also had a bag um, of other things just there was a little bracelet in it and a couple of video games that i'd found and it was pretty fun but that's in the house already and distributed so what i got at the goodwill They didn't have the Z, but I have a, I have one of these already in silver, the A and the Z bookends. But once I sell those, I still need this for weight because I do something specifically with it. So I just got it. I liked it. Um, also at the Goodwill, I found these little baskets. They're like little deer or gazelles and they're brown and in good shape. Paid a buck 99 for the small one. $2.99 for the big one. Can't do anything left-handed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's the big one. $2.99. And they sit, they nest inside one another. Also, over here, I got a Laurel Birch purse with horses on it. This is for the kids. It's a Tanuki Mario with a mustache. They'll like that. This is an Espa purse. It is a vegan leather, meaning it is vinyl, not leather at all, but it feels really, really nice. And comps were around 30 bucks or so. 
maybe more depending. I didn't see one just like this, so we'll have to see. This, hi honey, it's just a second. You go inside, please. Why? Because you're naked, go inside. Sorry, we're potty training. Uh, this is a Cole Haan bag. I haven't looked it up yet. It is leather. It's very, very soft. It's in good shape except for these. And I did kind of scratch at these and this is just a stain that should come right off. And then I'll use my leather reviver, whatnot. It's in otherwise pretty good shape. I liked it. I might use it myself if it doesn't sell for much. <laughs> this I got from my husband, he doesn't know yet. This is an Ohio State blanket for the national championship in 2014. It's a really nice blanket. We could always use more blankets. Then there is oh, some shower curtain S hooks. Just, I have a plan for those. This guy, you know, he, he seemed like he was special and I liked him. He's just this crazy little giraffe. And I looked him up and he is, from, gosh darn it, come here, come on you dumb thing, Folk Manus Incorporated, and I'm right here honey, shush a second, and this guy is a puppet, and his comps were in the 50s, very cute, don't touch him, hang on, uh, yeah, I think I do, here, you're on camera, Hey. National champions, 2014. Oh my god! You oh like it? My god, Dad. That's like six years. That's undisputed. Yeah. Right? Undisputed to year. I think so. It was undisputed. Maybe. Yeah, because it's 2020. That was six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Do you like it, yeah. Evelyn? <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, there's it? my puppet. Um, Holy Rockford Goodwill. Then this one here. That's not a horse. Don't touch that. Come on, kid. Back up. Sorry about that. And this, look at it. It's framed. I don't know. No, you were. That was 34. Stop it. 14, I was 44. Right? Yeah. So these are Laurel Birch cats. Laurel Birch cats. This one is loose. I need to reach in and fix that one. But yeah, a little Laurel Birch frame. And then what I also got at that fun picking sale, I'm taking video, is this wonderful thing. This is an oil rain lamp. He gave it to me so super cheap. And if I get it cleaned up and in working condition, then I know there are cracks in the plastic on that one. But I don't know. Then it should bring like two to three hundred dollars maybe. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, so that's my haul and the sprinklers are on, so I'm going to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.